When we think of Iron Man, we think of a rich guy who saves his universe at the expense of his life. But if this is the end for his character... We won. Mr. Stark. In the MCU, giving a peaceful ending to Steve Rogers doesn't seem like fear for Iron Man. We all know his legacy will live on. One of Tony Stark's greatest qualities is his expertise in creating new technology, not only for weapons but for defense, flying, and speed. All of these qualities led to the creation of his Iron Man suits. As each film raised the stakes in terms of the villains Stark and or the Avengers face, every Iron Man suit gets more advanced with firepower, including the arc reactors, nano gauntlets, and AI systems like Jarvis, Friday, and Edith. Stark's Iron Man tech also led to the creation of suits for fellow heroes like War Machine, Spider-Man, and Hulk. The Hulkbuster and the time travel suits in Endgame are especially memorable. Unfortunately, while Stark's inventions were always meant for good, there were powerful MCU villains who used his technology for malicious intent, corruption, and world domination, such as Obadiah Stane and Ultron. However, Stark's tech will live on in the MCU since it'll be in the right hands, including his protege Spider-Man, who understands and can work with Stark's inventory for his own suits in future films, or Bruce Banner with his technical expertise and his experience with the Hulkbuster, whenever the Hulk himself can't fight. Another major reason why Marvel needs to move forward from Iron Man is that the MCU needs to continue to develop new characters, especially the heroines. One of the best new female characters right now is Riri Williams' Ironheart, who made her introduction in Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Riri built her own suit of armor that resembles Iron Man suits due to its high-powered blasters and flight. Ironheart is a character that can draw inspiration from Iron Man while also telling her own story. Shuri is another heroine who continues to build her reputation as an intelligent scientist who keeps improving upon the advanced technology in Wakanda while also increasing her role as the princess of her home country after the untimely death of her brother T'Challa and taking his place as the Black Panther. Shuri is young and may not be the most experienced fighter, but in the Black Panther sequel, her character grows and transforms into a leader for her people and a mentor to Riri. Shuri and Riri have the capability to develop more advanced tech and armor to protect Wakanda and provide resources to the world, similar to what Iron Man has done. Cassie Lang, Scott Lang Ant-Man's daughter, Kate Bishop, America Chavez, She-Hulk, and Yelena Belova are other examples of new and more recent female characters with powerful physical abilities who can further grow in future MCU projects. Reminiscent of how Spider-Man learned from Iron Man, these heroines have important mentors that inspire their respective journeys. Jonathan Majors, recognized for portraying Kang the Conqueror in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania and a variant of Kang, known as He Who Remains in the season one finale of Loki, has expressed interest in a potential clash between his villainous character and Iron Man. Although the idea of Stark and Kang going head-to-head -head hints at a monumental showdown, the Marvel Cinematic Universe is presently dedicated to fostering new characters, their development, and their encounters with formidable foes determined to sow chaos throughout the cosmos. Tony Stark Iron Man will always be remembered as the godfather of the MCU, who skyrocketed this popular superhero franchise and became one of the greatest Avengers alongside Steve Rogers' Captain America and Natasha Romanoff Black Widow. However, after a decade of the original Avengers team, there are other superheroes and villains who can stretch their character arcs, while also adding diversity by including comic book roles with various races and cultural backgrounds for a new generation of MCU fans. While we are on topic of legacy, we know that Pepper Potts has a suit with nanotech, but she is not the one we went because we know she doesn't give a origin story like Iron Man, neither the other characters like Spider-Man and War Machine aka James Rhodes, not even Riri Williams because she is recent character in MUC who don't have that many fan, and not overlook easy way in the MCU with will we the perfect person to recreate his legacy and also have an interaction with Iron Man in past. With a serious storyline like Iron Man, well, it's that unknown kid at Tony Stark's funeral. The kid in question was none other than Harley Keener, the kid from Iron Man 3. How does Harley Keener, the kid from Iron Man 3, can continue Iron Man legacy in much?
Unlike many other characters, Haley Keener wasn't based on a comic book character, and instead, he was created by Iron Man 3 director Shane Black, who pitched the idea to Marvel of a superhero running into a little kid in Heartland America, so there was full freedom to take the character on any direction. However, the quick bond that was formed between Harley and Stark, and the latter leaving brand new equipment and other presents for Harley in his garage, pointed at Harley possibly becoming the next Iron Man once Tony Stark retired or died. But the MCU quickly forgot about him and gave Stark a new mentee, Peter Parker. Harley's cameo appearance at Stark's funeral in Avengers Endgame reignited hope for him making a proper return and taking Iron Man's place, but that's no longer possible thanks to new characters in the multiverse saga. The MCU already has its official Iron Man replacement thanks to Riri Williams' Ironheart, who has already shown her skills as an inventor, scientist, and hero in Black Panther Wakanda Forever, and will continue to do so in her upcoming TV series Ironheart, but she might not be the only Iron Man equivalent. Now that Kang the Conqueror and his variants have been introduced, it's possible the MCU could see the arrival of Iron Lad, thus bringing another Iron Man replacement, and who Harley Keener will be the Iron Lad. Now there's also Morgan Stark, Tony and Pepper Potts' daughter introduced in Avengers Endgame, who could also continue her father's legacy if the MCU ever chooses to have another Stark taking the lead. The MCU is known for introducing new characters and variants, and with the multiverse saga unfolding, there's always the possibility of Iron Lad making an appearance. Iron Lad, a character closely tied to Kang the Conqueror, could potentially step into the Iron Man role, adding another layer of complexity to the narrative. Another intriguing possibility is Morgan Stark, Tony and Pepper Potts' daughter, introduced in Avengers Endgame. If the MCU decides to explore her character further, she could carry on her father's legacy. This would be a poignant continuation of Tony Stark's story within his own family. Or they both could create a new era of new Avengers in MCU? It's worth noting that Tony Stark and Harley Keener maintained contact after the events of Iron Man 3, implying that Harley continued learning from the late Tony Stark. However, with the current direction of the MCU, it seems Harley Keener's chance to become the next Iron Man is slipping away, and his potential as a successor might remain an unfulfilled opportunity from Iron Man 3. As the multiverse saga continues to develop and introduces new characters, the legacy of Iron Man is poised for transformation. Are you inclined to think Harley Keener should have played a more substantial part in the MCU, or are you eager to witness how characters such as Riri Williams, Iron Lad, or even Morgan Stark could carry forward the Iron Man tradition. Feel free to express your opinions in the comment section and thank you for tuning in. Remember to subscribe to our channel for the freshest updates on the Marvel Cinematic Universe.